Hack their kidneys out. They have no concept of misery. One slash, ear to ear. Crying won't do any good. What is up guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to play Gangplank. Now the build and the stuff is the same for mid and top. This is one of the absolute best team fighters we have in the game. He's insanely hard to play but also a champion that's super rewarding. If you manage to land one barrel in a late game team fight, that can single handedly carry the entire fight. But he's also pretty difficult and I'm going to show you how to probably play him. Q start and you're going to use this to last it. You want to make sure that the Q actually kills the target because that's going to give you gold. And don't spam your Q early on because it does cost a decent amount of mana. So we're gonna use it to mainly last it the minions that are pretty difficult to uh, reach. Especially if it's a cannon minion then try to save your Q. We also have the biscuits to like sustain back up and your Q procs on hit and stuff guys. Your passive every once in a while you get that empowered auto attack. You can see when your sword is ignited that's when it's ready to go. And it's going to like apply some extra damage on the enemy champion. Which is true damage and it also gives you a burst of bonus moon speed. This is going to reset every single time you proc an E. So this is what GP is known for. The powder keg here. And the way you proc them, you can proc them with an auto attack. They have to be at one stack here. You can chain them up. Like this. And you proc them with an auto attack or a Q. If you proc them with a Q, it's going to apply the benefits from your Q onto the barrel. So that means that if you kill a lot of minions with a Q proc barrel, you're going to get the gold. Which is really important to know. And your W is a free QSS that also heals. And when I say QSS, I actually mean QSS. The ability that removes suppression abilities. For example, a Malsaha ultimate, Skarn ultimate and so on. Even a Mordekaiser ultimate. Your W is going to remove all of that. Which cleanse does not. So that is pretty strong to have. The GP wants to be able to scale up. We want to get to those crit items. So we're going to stay back here and then mainly use the barrels to zone people off with. Now in the early game, it can be pretty difficult to, to like um, time the barrels when you're playing against, you know, a ranged champion. Because they can also hit the barrel and if they get to hit it first when it is at one stack, then the barrel will disappear. So... If you want to proc them fast, then you can use an auto attack. And of course, if you're using first strike, GP has insane burst damage, right, with the barrels, especially later on when we get some crit. But this allows us to go for the for the free boots, get the biscuits, and all that good stuff, while also being able to scale up even better with the first strike and faster. But the barrel, you want to place them down to zone people away. If they're stepping up, then you can usually do one auto attack into a Q and then just back off like this. That's a very basic way of trading and also super effective. Oh, that is not looking good. That is the typical die that just fails. But try to last it as much as possible with your Q, but also at the same time not make, making sure you're not running out of mana. And your barrel not gonna deal a lot of damage to the minions early on. Becomes a bit better when you have Sheen because your Q procs on hit, meaning that Sheen also works with it, so that's nice. Looks like our. Yep. They are toast. That is unlucky. The main issue here is that we almost full AD. And I don't think they care much about the Nunu, so it's going to be a bit difficult. But the good thing here is that your barrel has built in armor pen. Built in armor pen, so you don't have to. You're not reliant on building it. Of course, you can do so, but you already have lots of armor pen with the C. Got the global ultimate ready to go. So you can target anywhere on the map, and it's going to deal damage in a massive AoE. And also slow people. Great for helping out your allies on the other parts of the map if needed. And also to secure kills and to help them win the, the fight. 
Not the game yet, that's way too early, but it can help win the game in the later stages. But it's mainly a way for you to be able to help out without being there directly. And this is the good combo you can do. Um, so basically what you do is you place a barrel here, and then you place another one here. You want to stay in the middle of these two you just placed. Then you queue the first one, and while that's happening, then you place the other barrel. And that's how we want to go about it. Actually, I think i just do this here. Just for some guaranteed damage. You can go for the cloak, but it's crit. It's RNG. So just do the safe way here. Now it's important that you look around the map and see if somebody can be helped out with the ultimate. If that is the case, of course, you can use it. But if you feel like the player is dead, no matter what, then don't waste it. It has a pretty high cooldown. 145 seconds. And also, the E, the stacks will drop down a lot faster as you level up. Level 13 is that spike you're looking for, that's why it's super super fast. He doesn't have CP, but he's recalling, so it's okay. Also, I'm playing with Ignite, because that gives us higher kill pressure. You can see how fast it's ticking down now. Even better. A little 13. And just stay W to get rid of that. It's not worth to ult right here, because your ultimate early on barely deals any damage, and it's also pretty easy to escape it. So, unless the target is like 10 HP, then don't waste it. Save it for like a much better moment, where you can actually make a difference. The game is not going very well for us at the moment, but remember, we're playing a scaling champion. We just need to get our items and then we start carrying in the team fights. Let's use it here. Hopefully that can help out. Nice, and we also got an assist. Now that assist is pretty good, mainly because we have free boots, so we can get the boots early on. You know, takedowns is going to lower the cooldown of this rune. But for that purpose, it helps out a lot. And we also get a free stack of that rune. You see, the enemy champion can easily contest the barrels. A little 13 is a lot harder, but th one thing you can do is that you place the first barrel a lot closer to yourself. This way it becomes a bit harder for the opponent to contest. Oh, he has to give that one up. I cannot help contest that. Alright, he got it. That's fine. But when you get to the later stages, try to farm as much as possible with the barrels. You place down a barrel and then you uh, proc it with your Q. So when it kills the minions, you get that bonus gold from your uh, Q passive. And that also gives you those silver serpents that you use in the shop to upgrade your ultimate. low on mana here. We don't want to stay for too long. Just a bit too far away for a uh, combo. I want to look to reset soon because I can buy the Essence Reaver. That's a pretty huge spike as well. So we'll just back off now. Our bot lane is getting toasted pretty hard, but if you look at the CS, it's not the worst case scenario, because somehow she's still up in CS. It's important that you pay attention to these things here, because then you get a better understanding of how the lane is going. So, they're probably running it down quite a lot, but they are, you know, staying up in farm and that's all we need. Ultimate is ready to go soon, so when you have it up, try to ping it for your teammates. Now in this silo they probably don't care too much, but sometimes it will end up helping. And they might try to dive top now with the Lilia, she just took the Herald. There could be a good opportunity to look for an ult. You see, when that damage kicks in. If we can move top. Ooh. Oh, that is so unlucky man. Is he going to die? No he's not. Let's see if we can help out. This is probably watered. T 
She might get executed at the tower because I messed up the combo. Nope, that's awesome. That's perfect. I just flash ignited the Aatrox mainly because he has a lot of healing and I don't want to witness, witness him getting back to full HP. A good drum here. We managed to get two kills and now we want to start snowballing. Well, that's awesome. If I can make it in time before their mid comes. Oh, he's TPing. I think he's dead. Oh, no, mind. We should be able to get Jin, hopefully. I don't know where that arrow is going. Alright. He did not take out the barrel for some reason. Nice, there we go. So a couple random roams and that resulted in us getting 4 kills. That's why roaming is so OP in solo queue. GP is not the best roamer. At all. Especially in the early game where your barrels take down pretty slow so people have a pretty easy time, you know, contesting and stuff with their auto attacks. But as you get level 13, that is the spike that you're looking for. Because that's where they tick down super fast and you can pull off those amazing combos. Besides the combo I showed, there's another really good combo uh, where you place one barrel, then you queue at maximum range and when that happens you can place down another barrel and it's going to proc it. That's a pretty OP combo you guys can do as well. You know what, I'm gonna sell this and then... We're gonna get another cloak. This is for the crit. Now we have 50% crit here. Some people like to do this. You don't have to. You could also just buy the tier 2 boots if you want it. We need a bit more passive stacks. Silver serpents to get the ultimate upgrade. But ultimate is ready so we can help out. He might flash out. Nope, he does not have it, it seems. I'm just gonna ult here, just to help them out. I think, oh, there was an Ash ult hitting, is that a free kill? Nope, so now you have lots of crit and lots of damage, right? So you just use the barrel, in the mob, Q, and you can see the backline minions gone. And then another Q here, and you're getting the entire wave, and you're also getting all that bonus gold. So you can see, 420 gold. And then we also got a bit more passive stacks. And remember, your passive works on the towers and they reset every single time you proc a barrel. That's a lot of extra damage you're getting if you make sure to abuse that passive properly. Aatrox could be roaming towards the mid side, so I have to chill for a bit. See that Sheen also procking with the Essence Reaver. A lot of extra bonus damage. The damage kicking in here. That Nuna coming with a snowball, so I just stay back for a bit so I don't make it too obvious. Wait for him to get close, and now we can move in. Unfortunately no ults, so I can't really help him. But don't make it too obvious that your jungle is coming. That's a mistake I see a lot of players make, is that when your jungle is trying to gank, they move in too early on. We'll take that one. Can our support take down the uh, tower? Maybe not. So, Gangplank is the champion that is super super OP in teamfights. I had a feeling he was going to do this. He had to dodge his... He had to dodge his outrage of the Q here, otherwise I would have been toast probably. Because it's the Aatrox for the Ignite. But it's going pretty well now. We were losing pretty hard. Now we are back in the game. I'm also super fed and that's what matters. Because now we are level 13. This is where the barrel starts taking down the fastest rate. And we can also upgrade the ultimate. 
So the first one I like to go for the Death Daughter. Um, what that does is that gives that massive true damage in the center. So if you can aim this ultimate properly and hit people in the center of the ultimate AoE, that's massive true damage. And why I'm thinking that's good here, because when Jin ults, he's locked up in that spot. So I can drop that ultimate right on top of him and get a lot of free damage off. You can see how fast the barrels are ticking down. This is what allows these fast GP barrel combos. Ultimate is ready to go soon. I'm gonna hit bot side because the Lilia might be here. You see that combo? Absolutely massive combo. I trolled a bit. I should have used my uh, W. I did not have to die here, but this is the potential you have on this champion. You get one battle off. And just witness the entire team getting blasted. One good barrel combo is all it takes to carry the fight in the later stages. Given that you're not 0 and 10 of course. But one good barrel and it's over man. That's why this champion is so game changing. Why he's so popular as well. But at the same time he's also really difficult to pull off. Because the barrel combos, especially in a fight, placing them well, when there are multiple people who can contest the barrels and stuff, so pretty hard to make work. We are securing the drake so far, if we can secure the other one that would be nice. We are also getting a decent amount of ability haste, that's actually a lot, almost 50%, so this ultimate will be on a much lower cooldown. Gonna go for the prolos here, we have the crit items we need so right now. The Prolos, of course, the mythic item that's going to enhance our damage by a ton. This is why he's so good for this purpose. W is all it takes to get rid of all that CC. And barrel, almost taking out the entire wave. And that's a fast combo right there. You can see just the Qs alone, even if you don't hit the barrel. If you manage to tag a target with a Q, a squishy target, and it crits, they have to get out of the fight. Ooh, that's a great ult. We CC her. I'll take the red. Awesome. Hopefully we can secure this one. Jin might be around here, so they just have to block his W ult. Oh, he yoinked that one. That was a massive yoink. I trust they got this. They did indeed. I don't mind because I'm so fit right now, so it doesn't bother me too much, but... You see, Jin is stationary when he has to ult, so there are lots of opportunities for you to land the barrels especially, and also the ultimate. So how much damage that dealt with the barrel. If you can hit multiple targets with that in a team fight, it's done, man. So you can camp in brushes because they cannot see the barrels that way. So if you can secure vision and then camp around objectives, for example, when the Drake is here and you think they will come and contest, camp in the bush, wait for people to step up, hit all of them with a barrel and they are out of the fight. Alright, let's get the prolos here and then we can also get some of the other components. Okay. There are massive crits happening right now, you can see how much gold we have gotten, 756. Now I can get the prolos, and we can also build into the egg collector. Your team has destroyed a turret. I can just go topside here, I can help them with the alts. feel like they are pretty dead. I can slow him down at least, so maybe the uh, oh she's dead. He tanked. That Lilia slow. Our top lane is going top so I'm not going. 
Also the pro Prolo, besides giving lots of damage guys, it's also used for a gap closer with the active. But it is the mythic item that gives you a massive increase in damage. I'm just gonna stay here so I don't end up getting caught out, hopefully. They might have based. Alright, we see one. So I should have bought the sweeper. It's really important to have at this stage of the game because you want to be camming in brushes. Wait for people to come and face check. And then you land a massive barrel, take them out, and then you take the free baron. Ooh, if he tried to contest that one, he would have been dead. Oh, that did not hit. Otherwise, I, I would have went straight for it. We need somebody to defend. Is he doing the... He is indeed. He's doing it alone though. And none of my teammates have realized. So if my teammates haven't realized, then hopefully their teammates haven't either. Let's try to help him. I had lots of crit. Well, that was a really good call by the Nuno. That was really well played. Secured the Baron, that's awesome. Now you want to like be grouped up. You can split push, but honestly, where GP shines is when you group up and go for these team fights. That is what this champion is known for. So I'm gonna base right now, get the collector, and then we start grouping up. I'm gonna get the uh, sweeper so I don't forget. Now we need to group. I need a bit more stacks than I could have put Anala upgrade into that ultimate. We want to group force those A Rams. A Rams are good at this point in the game. Too early on, a bit bad, but now it's good. You see how fast he went down, but absolutely blasted. Oh, if he did not did not flash right there, he would have been toast, man. Look at the damage. I'm not flashing for that. It's a support. Not worth it, but you can see the damage really kicking in, guys. The potential of Gangplank. Especially if you build him the right way, which is crit. Always. Don't base. And you can also see how fast the barrels are recharging right now. That's the one shot right there. One shot with the barrel. Massive crits. Just stay back, some people away with the barrels. That was way too close, man. What is our um, AD carry doing? Almost another one shot. I'm gonna W that one. Flash that one. How to use the Prolos right into um, the Lilia. Another crit to save the AD carry. Look at that impact you have on this champion. All you're playing for is to get your items. When you have your items, this is what happens. You're gonna destroy absolutely everything. Especially in the lower elos where people don't know how to play against Gangplank. Ooh, that item just saved him. That's one barrel, guys. You see one barrel and he's out of the fight. One barrel is all it takes. I don't have the second barrel yet, but before going into a fight, at least make sure that you have at least two barrels ready. Because if you have one barrel only ready and you place it down, people are gonna contest and they're gonna take it out. We can just perma group. I don't have to base at all. I was thinking about using the ultimate, but it was not necessary at this point. And that is the other combo right here. You can see you place down the barrel, then you queue from maximum range. And when your queue is going off, then you place a second barrel. Very difficult to play around these combos. Hang on ult so we can secure the tower. Turn them off from the tower. Another one shot on the support. This is all you have to be good at. The hardest part of course the barrel combos. And being able to place them while they're getting contested by the opponents. 
You can single-handedly carry the entire team. But it gets harder to contest as you play against, you know, 80 carries. Because they have a lot higher attack speed and also range, so they can proc it pretty easily. As we get out. But don't die here. This is what you cannot do against the Gangplank. My barrel covers his entire ultimate hitbox. This is stuff you never do, guys. have to land that good barrel. That shield just saved her. Nuno's taking down the tower, so we're just buying some time. I'm gonna back off now. I'm sitting on 5k gold and of course I also need to get that ultimate stack. So I can upgrade. So you can look at their team. They are getting a little bit tanky, but you know, Lord Dominix, another free crit item. Now we have the second ultimate upgrade. So that one we bought right now is going to make it so more waves are dropping. It's also great for DPS. The first one I bought, it's great as a burst damage tool that gives true damage. So it's great for bursting. The one we bought right now is great for DPS. Now we just need to group with our team. Oh, I did not get to drop the ultimate. That was such a big mistake. Nuno needs to commit. I don't know why he's split pushing in the sides. It was fine previously when he was bot. But we just need to group. Then we win this easily. I also made a mistake obviously getting caught. So that was also pretty dumb. But we just need to group. That's all you do with Gangplank. When he has his items, you just ARAM admit. Another lane. Now problem is that they can go for the Baron. If they are fast enough. Even worst case scenario is that he's trying to sneak the Baron and they come and group, kill the Nunu and then take it. I had to ping, he did not see it. It's a bit OP that you can do it as easily like this though. I don't, I don't even understand why it's possible because it's like supposed to be one of the biggest objectives in the game. It's on our team so I'm not complaining since we're getting Baron for free. But why can one champion solo it? Now I just have to group. And I need to not get caught out. I have the flash up this time around though. You can sell your boots guys, but really I prefer to not do that because you're losing mobility. I think we just could top. Okay, she's salting. You want salt? I don't think I need salt top. Yeah, they're good. They're good to go. At this point I can just let my teammates farm, but we'll just go top here, no point in A-ramming since they're not grouping up, so it's a lot easier to go for these small objectives. You can wait around here in corners like this and then when you see somebody, quick battle, easy PC. Okay nice, that's what I wanted. We have a ward here so I can just camp at this spot. Oof, that's a bit too far away. Just gonna all to take out of the fight. Oh, I think he used the Gale Force. I messed up the combo right there. That's what happens if you place the barrels too uh, far away from each other and the circles are not connecting. Another one shot with the OP combo I talked about. This is the combo you'll be using most of the time. It's a long range combo that people don't expect. Half HP on their tanky. Champion, you can see she has a lot of tank items and HP. Still half HP gone, just like that. Just have to keep zoning them out. They're really trying to find a way to engage because if they don't... Ah, uh, whoops. I almost killed my... Both Barlinas.
I killed my, I think, was that the Ash I killed? But yeah, he's even good for taking down your own teammates. Waits for that purpose. Nunu securing the Elder Drake, I assume. So I'm just gonna keep pushing it out. He tries to tank one of these, he's gone. I'm just making sure that the minions are taking out. That's the Prolos combo. Auto attack into a Q. The massive damage on your passive as well. That's how we take him out fast. So he gets some freedom to take out objectives. I just have to back off now, sitting on almost 7k gold. It's pretty rare that on a champion you get this amount of gold, but on champions like the Gangplank, who can easily wave clear and get insane amount of gold, it should not come as a surprise. Also, when you recall, you can place down a barrel here. Somebody comes, quick combo into auto attack, and they're done so. I'm gonna buy this here. They just have to wait for me and we can just go mid, that's all we have to do. We also have the Elder Drake right now. Imagine one combo should be able to one-shot most of that team. Even if Jin ults, I can just place it on top of him and it could potentially finish him off. So now we just need to group. GP, all you have to do is group with your team, guys. You can camp in corners. When you have the sweeper, you can make sure nobody has vision. Camp in corners for the barrels, wait for somebody to overextend, take them out, easy peasy. Try to hit the Renata. That enough. Nope. And now flash coming out. Now you have to wait for a bit. Look at the barrel. Always keep an eye on the barrel timer. There's only one barrel up right now, so I had to wait. Don't greet too much. We don't need to. We just have to wait. Minions are crashing in here. Just have to wait. Yeah, he's aiming at me. But that's also the right decision to make. If if they take me down, it's a lot harder for my teammates to do something. Just gonna keep a barrel here. Just one good barrel is all it takes. We don't have to greet. That's the biggest mistake we can make right now. One shot. 80 carries down. That's all we needed. Same thing again. Place down a barrel. Wait for them to extend. They have to come defend at some point. When that happens, you popped in. I had to cleanse this one. This time I did save my W so I don't destroy half of my team. We have to keep pushing here. Jin is not alive yet. We have to keep pushing because we can end. Okay, we can just leave it, I guess, because Nuno wants to do the, do the uh, Baron. We could easily have ended this game if we played it a lot better. But we are not synergized as a team. Synergized. Or coordinated. But it's all a Q. It happens. We can also just do it the safe way. Big K gold. That's ridiculous. Some people like to sell the boots at this point. I am not going to do it though. I have the items I need. I'm gonna put the last upgrade. So this is going to give your teammates bonus moon speed when they're stepping, you know, on your ultimate hitbox. This is the one I always upgrade last, no matter what, cause the other two are a lot more useful. This one is also good, but the other two are a lot better, basically. But you're also really squishy, so keep that in mind for sure. Easy kill, now we just keep pushing. My W is down now for a while, so I have to watch out that I don't get attacked by unnecessary ults. Placing that ultimate to some people away. 
that almost hit. Just staying back here, play around the barrel timers guys. Always play around the timers. Don't walk up if you only have one barrel. Good ash ult. Oh, that was just barely out of range. In the end, hopefully they can. And that is it. So that was how to play Gangplank guys. Really hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.